Welcome back to Papa Z's Bees. Today we're going to do inspections of both the kitchen hive and the resource nook. Let's go look at the uh, discussion points and, and task list. If you remember, the kitchen hive was one that was uh, was hit very badly with varroa mites. And the varroa mites, in, in case you aren't up to speed on that, varroa mites are things that, that look like very tiny ticks that attach themselves to the bee and can uh, vector a lot of really bad diseases into the bees and kill those bees. Well, they tend to get themselves into the, the, uh, the, the brood just before they're capped. And then any treatments that we do really don't uh, go through the, the cappings. So we had to treat them with oxalic acid, which I mentioned in, in the video. And uh, we're, we've done several weeks of it and they, they seem to be doing pretty well, but we'll take a look here and see. Uh, by the way, we've got uh, a new microphone I'm using and uh, forgive the heavy breathing it was really really hot out there and uh but i did want to get in there and, and test them so what we'll do today is we'll check for the queen or at least evidence of the queen check for the quantity of bees as well as the quality uh because if we've been noticing that there's been a lot fewer bees out so we need to check and make sure that the, the there, there's enough bees there to to carry on the day-to-day -day activities and then we'll check for varroa mites in the tray which is down below the, uh, below the screen bottom board, when the, when the oxalic acid uh, kills the, the varroa, they'll fall down into the tray into the bottom, and then you can kind of get an idea of how many you have. Uh, this, if you remember one of the previous videos, we had an awful lot of, of, of dead varroa in there, so we'll take a look and see how we're doing today. Then once we get through with, with the main kitchen hive, we'll go over to the resource nucleus because we haven't looked at it for a while. Uh, we'll check for queen or evidence of the queen and check out for drawn comb, the quality and quantity of that comb. And should we need to get resources, f uh, like more bees, for instance, from the resource nucleus and put them in the kitchen hive, we'll do that as well. Okay, we're going to do an inspection today on this hive. Uh, we've been treating it with varroa for about, for, for varroa with, with ox acid, with oxalic acid for several weeks. So we're going to kind of just see what it looks like. There's bees up here in the top working, that's good. I've got an unlevel situation, things are settling, I'm going to have to deal with that, but I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do. It's still pretty heavy. Which is good. Oh, and, and it looks, let me pull one of these out. Because it looks like it's, you now they're starting to cap it over here, which is good. So. like the numbers are picking back up which is good I need to move this on over okay we've got these uh, beetle traps up here I want to get them down in the bottom and so we've got some beetles in there which is what which is good so there's a few more beetles and so what they'll do is they'll chase those beetles up into the to the uh, traps and then the beetles will die I don't really want to spend a lot of time up here I just want to verify that it still looks good from the standpoint of having a lot of honey in it yeah and it's still got sealed honey which is good they like to mm, still heavy, still heavy. <laughs> they like to put the the uh, wax here and attach it to the wax to the bottom of those frames. So gonna look at a few of these frames. They're gonna probably be fairly light. Uh, 
but the good thing is I'm seeing lots and lots of bees. Uh, this would be the, the nectar area. This was a, a cone that was, it was a, a form, no format or no, no foundation frame. So well, we're seeing some peace see them here but there's lots of good larvae right in here so uh, that's good to know we've got a queen still I, I was worried with a little bit with the uh, with the amount of of uh, oxalic acid that we've been using that we could have hurt the queen but lots and lots of of uh, brood right here uh, some cap brood but mainly it's a lot of of uh, larvae Kind of the same thing here. Now there's a, uh, it's like a supersedure cell, just a cup. It's not a cell. More and more brood, which is good. The old drone. And that supersedure cell uh, is there because they they just keep them ready all the time in case uh, in case they need a need to do a queen. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with it if they if they need to do a queen if they need to rear another queen that's fine we'll let them a little bit better brood pattern but still it's awfully spotty another queen cup and lots of larvae so that means they're coming out of the, the issues that we've had with the varroa I'm sorry girls They tend to seem like they they tend to uh, move the or stick to the the wooden ones a little bit more than they do the plastic frames as far as sticking them together. Uh, more brood, still not again like what I would like to see it, but there's still lots of larvae in here, which is a good sign. Larvae is good; they'll eventually cap it. Now we're getting into more into the center of the, of the hive, so. We're going to see more and more um, capped brood as well as another queen cup. You know, cup is before they put an egg in it or a larvae, before, they put a, before she lays an egg in it. If they lay an egg in it and you look in it and there's a larvae, then you know that it's a queen cell. So that means they're planning on doing something. Right now, they're still not. Better, better brood pattern. Big old drone right there. They're capping some of the honey around the edges. More, again, more good capped brood. Trying to see if I can spot the queen when, when I'm, as I'm going through here. More larvae. Unfortunately, not seeing a lot of pollen, but there is pollen down here on the bottom, but just not a lot. It's not a lot of pollen out there right now, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry, man. <clears throat> Again, more good capped brood here. Capped, uh, capped honey around the edges. And some pollen, which is good. Keep the pollen close to that brood so they can take care of it. Here's something interesting right here. This is some capped or some covered over, it looks like to me it's covered over pollen. Which means it's you know if 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 what happens if pollen turns bad they'll they'll cover it up. So this is a frame we originally originally got when we got our bees last year. 
So my thought process is sometime I'll need to replace, if I get a good uh, comb, I'll replace this frame with it because uh, that they're just taking up space that they, that they would need. Although there's still good pollen down here, so there's no hurry. And they're bringing in some pollen. That's good. So if, if you can see that bee there with, with pollen on her back legs. That's good. So there's a little bit of pollen coming in. Of course, it's getting hot in the day too, so they, they tend to, to not do so much. Trying to see if I can see that queen. She's so elusive, she doesn't want to be found. Now this is just, a, this will, on the edge here will be a resource hive, so I probably wouldn't, wouldn't find her in here. This is mainly for, for, um, for honey and pollen. And this is another one of the foundationless frames, so I don't want to do too much movement with it because it's tending to, tending to sag already. So, we're seeing some good, good signs after, after the uh, <coughs> uh, Varroa treatments. Let me put everything back together here. And then we'll look in the tray down below. I did clean the tray. We did pretty yesterday. And I cleaned the tray yesterday. And so we'll see how many Varroa is in it. If, uh, the, the last time we, we looked... And I'll put the pictures in the back here on the bottom of this video. Uh, we had a lot of, of um, a lot of varroa, dead varroa in there, and I'm going to have. I'm hoping that we're not going to have nearly as many this time. Now I'll put one of these here. And then I'll put a new one right here. And then we just use plain old canola oil here to put in the bottom of these to, to trap the beetles. I don't want to put too much because it'll overflow and I don't want that to happen. So I've been worried about uh, because we've had lack of bees. The reason they, they don't believe they capped much of it because there's not enough, there weren't enough bees in the hive to do so. As you can see today, there's plenty of bees in here. So again, we're making our way back from where we were with the with the varroa damage. We had thousands of bees die because of the varroa, and so we've got to continue to monitor that. Now let's come over here and look at the, the tray. You can get a good close-up of that. Uh, there's a few varroa in there, but the majority of the stuff that's in there is just the tritus, just junk from inside the hive. I do see some more small hive beetles, the black things here. But there are very, very few varroa, so that's a good sign. So we're well on our way to, to getting everything satisfied and back to normal. I don't know if you can come over here and see the, the number of bees on the board here on the side. Landing board and then on the on the wall. It's hot so they're trying to stay cool that way. There's not as much room under here as they say there is on the some of the others. I stopped feeding them because we, we had enough honey coming in.
Yeah, they're chasing some down in there right now. So. Now these were five frames, actually four frames of, of nothing. You can see this is a foundationless frame and they've just started putting a little bit of work in on this. So they are still working on it, which is good. The white, the white of the wax tells you that it's new. The middle frame in here was one that we did actually have some, some, um, oh yeah, look at the, the you can see the honey glisten off of that. This is white. This was a, just a foundation here, a black foundation. Yeah, lots of really nice, nice. Yeah, lots of, you can see the white uh, larvae. See the capped brood. Again, it's kind of a loose, um, loose configuration. There's not solid like I would like to see it, but uh, in this time of year, when they're trying to manage what they're doing, uh, you'll come into that a little bit more. Same thing here. You've got the capped, the capped honey. You've got honey inside here, and then some pollen. The uh, brood should all be down below. This is just a box for them to, to use off of. You can see it's a lot of white, some capped. Same thing here. Yeah, this is pretty fairly light. Now these were the original frames. The, the two outside on either side and in the middle was the one that we, when I, when we, when we added the second box, we took the middle frame out of here and put it in there. So. You can see the propolis here on the edge where they've treated that with the... Uh, yeah, lots of good brood there. So we're in good shape. I uh, didn't check this side. Oh, there's our queen. Yowch. Right there. That's good to see. Okay, well, that's kind of all I wanted to see. We see that queen and we're we're in good shape. So we'll bundle them back up and call it a day. Well, there you have it. We had good results from the kitchen hive. Uh, lots of bees coming back, uh, lots of brood, uh, more brood coming in as, as young larvae. So we'll uh, be having seeing more lot more bees as the weeks go along. Uh, we did see very few varroa in that tray, which means that our treatments have been very effective. In the resource nuke, we found the queen, which is great to see. You see the yellow dot on her as we, as we uh, marked her earlier in the year. And then we've found some pretty good drawn chrome and the qual both quality and quantity of that comb is looking pretty good. So I uh, really, really appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate you subscribing if you can and tap that little bell. That will let you know when we introduce a new, uh, a new video. Thanks again for watching. Have a good week.